The morning, Susan. A very good morning to you. Our weather watchers are up now. Um, no surprises, we're getting sent in some quite wintry images. Images here of falling snow in Kent. This is Canterbury. Uh, sadly, I can't show you that many pictures, but we're also getting some images now uh, from other parts of the UK where snow has fallen overnight. Heavy snow is forecast to bring significant disruption to the east and southeast of England later today. Snow is moving in and weather warnings have been issued by the Met Office for large parts of the UK with predictions of possible travel disruption. Good afternoon. Whether you're taking a walk with a mate or standing in a queue to get a paper, I'm sure you're all going to be talking about the feel of the weather this week. The easterly winds have arrived. It took its time. It actually was a drizzle and sleet first thing this morning. Give it a couple of hours, though, and this is what arrived. Yes, some snow across Kent and into parts of Suffolk and Essex as we speak. And the Good evening. Wherever you live, whatever you're doing this week, I guarantee you're going to be talking about the feel of the weather. You may even be talking about some disruptive snow, as we saw today in Ashford in Kent. But you will certainly be talking about the strength of the wind that's been whipping up the North Sea this afternoon across Bridlington. It is pretty cold, sometimes known as the beast from the east. Yes, it has arrived all the way out of Scandinavia, coming across that cold North Sea as well. And it's going to be here to stay for the next few days. Days. That means that it's driving in those showers off the North Sea. This has been the story today across eastern Scotland, northeast England, with more persistent snow across East Anglia, down through Essex and Kent, where the amber warning remains in force throughout the night tonight and into tomorrow. There could be further disruption due to accumulations of snow. It's also going to be cold, so ice could be an issue tomorrow morning, particularly where we've got any form of moisture, even from the rain just recently.